An OECD report shows that South Korean students are at the top level in terms of math, reading, and science proficiency. The data suggests that the impact of COVID-19 was minimal compared to other countries, Yoon Jin reports. The COVID-19 pandemic was a stress test for education systems. Schools and students around the world had to adapt to sudden and profound changes in how learning was carried out, including lockdowns and extended school closures in many countries. The OECD Program for International Student Assessment, or PISA, has tested nearly 700,000 15-year-old students in 81 countries or economies on mathematics, reading and science. Its results released on Tuesday showed South Korea ranked sixth in mathematics, fourth in reading and fifth in science. The OECD PISA tests explore how well students can solve complex problems, think critically and communicate effectively. This gives insights into how well education systems are preparing students for real-life challenges and future success. Korea participated for the first time in PISA in 2000. While results for 2022 showed an unprecedented average overall drop in performance across the OECD countries, 18 countries or economies remained above the average. For South Korea, the average 2022 results themselves were about the same as in 2018, when performance levels were actually at the second worst since it first participated in PISA in 2000. But compared to other public education systems, South Korea suffered minimal disruption to its academic levels throughout the COVID-19 pandemic period. The 2022 results for South Korea showed that by gender, boys and girls performed at similar levels on average in mathematics but girls outperformed boys in reading and science. While the country's overall academic performance remains similar, the gap between the highest scoring students and the weakest students has widened, particularly for mathematics. If school buildings had to close again in the future, many students across the OECD responded that they felt confident about using digital technology for learning remotely. And some 70 percent of students in South Korea felt confident about using video communication programs. Ian Jin, Arirang News.